Mulberry Junction. It's been a little while since I've done anything with layouts. Um, we'll show you some of the updates that I've done in a moment. I also got a coach come through course the other day. It's a Backman First Corridor in Executive Livery. The uh, reason I've got this is because on the Executive Livery, Executive Livery stock that I've got the Mark 1s, I don't have a first class coach on it at the moment so that's why I've bought this one. So I'll be putting this one on on the, the Mark 1 rake. Here's a Pacman coach, the new one. It is, well, it's second hand but new to me. Um, so it won't match perfectly with the Replica Railways and Lima Mark 1. So obviously the uh, Batman 1 is flush glazed, whereas the Replica Railways and the, um, the Lima ones, they're not flush glazed, they're slightly recessed. Uh, with it being old tooling and stuff, but it, it do not really matter, it's still, still an Arkham coach, still an executive livery. Um, also, um, I'd like to say hi Dave of Dave's Trains. Dave regularly makes comments um, with Model Railway layout and with the allotment and my garden. Uh, so yeah, thanks Dave for that, much appreciated. Um, so without further ado, I'll get this coach on track, get it on the executive rake and we'll give it a quick run around and then see where this video takes us from there. Okay, so that is the Mark 1 Corridor uh, first class uh, Backman coach which I've bought second hand in the Intercity Executive rake. There's a couple of swallow liveried coaches in that rake as well. Um, you may notice in the clip when the Loco, the Class 87 was running around, that I brought down the platforms from upstairs in the loft to put on this layout. Um, Hopefully, I'm going to be buying the um, lip prints, catenary masts again for for this this layout that I'm building now um, to go on the station, and then I'll be using the dapol masts uh, further round. I've also taken away the old goods shed, which is where I've put the Aldi building now down there. So that's where the the goods shed was. I've changed it to the Aldi building, and I've also added a scrap metal yard to the other side. I'll show you that in a second. I'll just put the camera on pause. This is the scrap metal sidings. It's two sidings and a head shunt. Um, it's the other side from the, the train station area and it's not very big, it holds six wagons per siding. So as you can tell it isn't massive. It's a nice small 
size and it will do for shunting around. I've also moved the houses that were here to the back of the layout. Spin round to the head shunt. So that's where the head shunt goes to. Those bales of scrap there from um, Walther's. The two Kadawi cranes I bought on eBay really cheap from from China uh, a fair few years ago now. They used to be from the other layout that I had um, that I used to call Metali. Uh, that was when I was in the, the old house, which came from the the other layout um, which I had, which was Armley Moor. So that's the scrap metal yard. So that's the new station area and the uh, scrap yard. Hopefully in a few weeks time I'm going to be buying some more lip prints masts for the station area. I've also got some Dapol masts for the mainline going past the scrap yard. So maybe um, tomorrow or, or over this week I'll install the, the Depol masts and then add the masts to the station from Lip Prints. I'm not going to put the actual catenary wires on this time. Um, reason being is, like people mentioned before, it is fairly difficult to clean the trap once the wires are on. But having the mast there it's not as bad. So I'll just go as far as having the mast rather than the full full shenanigans with the wires as well. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a little um, operating session on DC, uh, so some of my older locomotives again and some older units and then I'm going to put the layout back onto DCC mode. I could, the reason being is because when I'm on DC I can only operate one train at a time or Whatever trains that I operate, they all move at the same time uh, because the, the layout's wired just for DCC. So, yeah, everything would move at the same time. So, which is, that's why I usually just use DCC and don't bother with my older stock. So, without further ado, I'll get some trains running. <laughs>
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little operating session that I've just had. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, um, click on like, and click on the notification bell icon. When you do that, that'll tell you when I do a new upload. Um, so I think all that's to say now is thanks for watching, stay safe, and bye for now. <laughs>